Hello everyone, my name is Legally Bronze, and this is episode 6 of my FTB Ultimate 1.4.7 series. And in the last episode, we made a Liquid Transposer, a Magma Crucible, a Redstone Energy Cell, and the required conduit and power setup to run our little thermal expansion line of machines here. And uh, in this episode, I want to start industrial craft machines uh, but first I want to make a project table from red power 2 mod uh, it's much much better than the classic crafting table has an internal uh, storage area in here and a, um, a crafting grid that can uh, remember items you put like a scroll thing in this slot and I don't remember what the item is called but you can basically save a recipe with that and then swap out recipes in the table in this slot so for you know complicated stuff uh, it's good for that uh, but anyway let's get into the IC2 crafting here and uh, a lot of this might not make sense, but it makes sense in my head. Um, we're going to be making a compressor, a plate bending machine, an extractor, a chainsaw, a mining drill, an MFE, and a geothermal generator to power everything. Um, first, I, I'm going to start by making some circuits because basically everything I just listed off requires circuits. And uh, we can see how the project table works here a little bit. I don't want to make any of those recipe scroll things just yet because I don't feel that I need to. But, oh, why didn't shift click work? Huh, that's supposed to work. Well, okay. Okay, well, that's a little embarrassing, but I, I, I swear this, this table is good. Um... Anyway, I guess we're just going to use the old table for now. Uh, anyway, there's some electronic circuits, ten of them. Uh, we need to make three compressors. Let's get that recipe up. Compressor, three machine blocks, and boom, three compressors. Uh, make the MFE now. Uh, let's see if I can do this from memory. Okay, gold cable. Machine block. Oh, I need some redstone for these rubies. You have to make uh, some energy crystals. Four of them. The gold cable goes like this. Energy crystals here. Machine block in the center, MFE, pretty good. It's an intermediate power storage for industrial craft. Holds, uh, I believe it's 600,000 units of power. Or is it a million? I can't remember. It, they change the values in later versions, so I don't always remember it. Uh, now I'm going to make four pistons, which will be needed for the plate bending machine which I need in order to make the chainsaw and drill. Uh, let's make the extractor. Don't really need the extractor as of yet, but it'll be good to have uh, relatively soon for certain other advanced machines. Uh, what else do I need here? Oh yeah, I need to make four RE batteries, and I'm going to need tin for that. RE batteries are needed for the drill and chainsaw and the plate bending machine. And uh, I'll grab the rest of this stuff, actually. RE batteries are made by uh, copper cable there, redstone and some tin. Boom. Okay, now for the complicated part, which is the plate bending machine. 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, conveyor module, which is not shift clickable. Okay, fine. We'll do it the hard way. There you go. Conveyor module. Does this shift click? Okay. Plate bending machine. And uh, let me look at my list here. Okay. All we need now is the geothermal generator. And I need two empty cells for that and a generator and some glass. Uh, need some, oh, I already had the tin. Here's my glass. Okay, iron furnace, RE battery, find iron, generator, empty cells. Uh, was it like this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now comes for the decision time here, which is how to lay this out. I can lay it against this wall here, or maybe go into this wall. I think I'm gonna lay it out on the back wall uh, for basic uh, single block machines. And then uh, later I may sort of inset the more complicated multi-block machines into this wall, such as the uh, implosion compressor uh, industrial grinder and the uh, industrial blast furnace. But for now, yeah, going against this wall. So you got a little trench here. Place a few copper cable. Not really sure how I want to set up the power here with the MFE. Because I just realized I do not have a wrench, so you need a special uh, wrench in order to be able to move these machines. And I haven't made that yet, so i got to get this right the first time. And I think I will place that like that. Geothermal generator on top. Uh, compressor here. Get out of here, furnace. Uh, plate bending machine and extractor. And I don't know why I have this other iron furnace. Get out of here. And uh, I guess that's it for now. Now I have this ugly gap because uh, I didn't want that. Anyway, let's get some lava cells and get some power going here. All right, my lava cells. Oh, I think they're in this bag. Okay. Uh, I don't want to put this. I am so mad. Oh dear. I forgot. <laughs> Oh, the MFE is a higher voltage than those machines, and I just blew everything up because I didn't put down a transformer. Man. I just wasted so many resources. Uh, well, okay, I have to remake everything now because of that colossal screw-up and anyone out there that's watching that could see that coming. I'm sure you were cringing the whole time. This is setting me back. Uh, um, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. And it, I may not have sounded that angry after blowing everything up over here, but I actually was, and I'm recording this the next day now. Uh, so my voice might also sound different because this is a different time. But um, I remade everything. And I'm also going to make what I was uh, supposed to make in order to prevent that explosion, which was a transformer. And low voltage transformer. And uh, for anyone that doesn't know, there's four 
I think it's four voltage levels uh, in industrial craft. And these are all low voltage machines. And the MFE that I was using outputs medium voltage and without a transformer, it will blow up anything that you connect to it that takes the low voltage. So uh, now that uh, now that I've fixed, or now that I've remade everything, I can fix this hole and we can set everything else back up here. Just go get some dirt. Okay. Fix the wall. I am uh, very, very short on redstone now. Used up almost all of it. I have, like, I think less than half a stack, so I'm going to have to go mining after this. Um, also, I used up most of my rubber. I have a little bit less than a stack of that now, so I also have to go up there and chop down the whole tree farm, but... I did have the opportunity to think about how I wanted to set up these machines and uh, my plans for the future with other machine placements. And um, I've decided to put the MFE and power generation in this room and I'll run the wire under the floor and have machines here along this wall. So let me lay out some copper cable here. And the machines, compressor, extractor, plate bending machine. Um, eh, I'll cover this back up until I'm ready to add a new machines. And uh, the MFE and the geothermal gen will go in here. I'm actually going to put the MFE under the floor. Where's my pick? In order to, um, well, no, not under the floor, but it'll be outputting um, energy into a cable directly under it into the floor. So, and I'm going to place it like this. Crap, that's not quite how I wanted it. I wanted it, <laughs> I wanted it flush with the floor, okay, but I'll fix that later. Uh, I don't have a wrench to be able to move this now, so I can't move it without breaking it. Uh, just continuously making mistakes here. Anyway, I'll set up the geothermal gen. I'll just stick it right next to it because it can transfer power in uh, to anything that it's sitting next to. So this, this will work, uh, and I'll show you that right now. Wait. Lava can, boom, generating electricity. This uh, generator generates uh, 20 EU per tick, and a lava can is worth, uh, as you can see here, 20,000 uh, EU. And later we will upload the geothermal generator to uh, a thermal gen, which will give me uh, an additional 10,000 per tick, or not per tick, uh, per cell. So that's nice, but... Anyway, so um, here's how a transformer is supposed to work, which is, uh, how do I want to place this? I want to be able to run uh, a higher voltage line off of this, so in the future. So I'm going to put transformer like this. And the three dots is the input side for the higher voltage, and it's going to have dots on all the other sides, which is outputs for the lower voltage. Um, I'm going to need to make some higher voltage cable to be able to run power from this, because this copper cable here, it doesn't say on a tooltip, but it only transfers low voltage. So if I uh, put cable here in that spot, the cable will instantly just vaporize. Um, which I would show you, but since I'm slow, so low on resources now from blowing everything up, I am not going to waste the cable. Um, okay. There we go. These are plugged in and not receiving power yet because this isn't plugged in. Um, I'm going to go make some gold cable. 
because that transfers uh that will transfer the energy now gold cable is interesting because it is uh it can transfer uh, medium voltage which is uh 128 and uh copper cable is 32 eu um and it will transfer in a distance of six blocks before uh, you start having power loss, um, gold cable is, eh, I think it might be six, or it's even less. Uh, it's it's really bad for long distance uh, transportation of energy. But that doesn't really matter because we're only going to go a couple blocks from the, uh, the MFE to the transformer here. So I'm not going to have any power loss. It's negligible. Okay, now these should be getting power, and that's fully powered, and there's no power indicator on the plate bending machine, but, okay, we can cover this up now. Let's lighten up this side just in case we don't want anything spawning in here. Uh, what I plan to do in the very near future is uh, make many more uh, lava gen or thermal generators upgrade geothermal generators and the thermal generators and I'll have uh, not sure how many yet in here probably at least mm, probably about 10 and I'm going to put a lava tank in this wall here and I'll just pipe uh, lava uh, from the nether or maybe if I find a big enough lava pocket in the overworld and I'll uh, te use tesseracts or ender tanks probably actually because those are cheaper uh, I'll use ender tanks and pump the lava into the tank here that I plan to put in the wall and then pump it from there into the generators and that'll power everything. But for now, uh, this works and there's a little internal buffer in here as you can see. I have no idea how big that buffer is, but I think I put seven cells in there. Doesn't really matter. Anyway, um... Next episode, I plan to uh, make a uh, induction uh, furnace. Wait, is it an induction furnace? No, it's an industrial blast furnace. In order to be able to upgrade my tools, which I haven't made yet, and I said I would make this episode, actually. So, before I uh, cut the recording here, let's start making that. And I need these steel plates in order to make a mining drill and a chainsaw, so that'll be good. But the basic drill is, it's garbage, and I need an industrial blast furnace to upgrade to the diamond drill because I need to be able to make titanium. Uh, but I'm not going to really stick with this drill. Once I make it, I'm going to plan to immediately upgrade it to the advanced diamond drill. Uh, and then I'm going to come over here and I have a fortune and a silk touch book that I found in dungeons so I plan to put fortune on uh, my first advanced diamond drill and then later I'll make another one for silk touch but uh, okay here we go there's the 10 plates let's come over to the crafting table now let's use the good one uh, make one drill Other way around. Okay, mining drill. And the saw, chainsaw. Uh, like that? Yes. Okay, good. Come over to the MFE and we can power them up here, which isn't really too hard. They have a very tiny internal buffer. Uh, 10k EU does not last very long. But uh, anyway, uh, once again, the chainsaw, this is actually a very good weapon. Advanced Chainsaw being even better, but this will take out uh, enemies in a couple of hits, and it runs on, you know, electricity, so it never, never runs out. Lovely. Uh, anyway, so yeah, anyway, uh, next episode, uh, Industrial Blast Furnace, I'm planning to inset it into this wall here, and... Maybe I will also do the lava tank in here and a few more generators. <laughs> oh, this looks so bad. I hate this. 
it, it uh, yeah, I gotta make the, uh, the wrench to be able to move that. I'll make that in between episodes, probably. But, uh, anyways, thank you for watching and bearing with my mistakes. <laughs> and, uh, I will see you next episode. Take care.